Some of them are, Gloria, yes, but actually about 10 minutes ago I saw His Majesty leave Buckingham Palace via helicopter uh, and the royal standard was lowered and the Union flag now flies above Buckingham Palace at half-mast in mourning for the death of Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth the second, uh, we've had a very busy afternoon here in central London uh, for this ceremonial procession from Buckingham Palace of Her Majesty the Queen's coffin, uh, which later re which was uh, resting in the bow room overnight and then ca was carried on a gun carriage down the Mall towards Westminster Hall to that very short service. It was only lasted about 20 minutes or so. The crowds here were very silent just before Her Majesty's coffin emerged from Buckingham Palace and even as the procession passed them they remained silent so over the last few days or so when something has passed a crowd like this they kind of burst into applause that didn't happen this time they were very stoic very dignified and it was only after Her Majesty's coffin had passed and the procession had passed and other members of the royal family that the spontaneous applause that we have seen over the last couple of days kind of erupted it was a very special moment a couple of points uh, I wanted to just highlight um, was the fact that the King was wearing full ceremonial uniform uh, with the rank of Field Marshal. The Prince of Wales was wearing his RAF uniform, but the, but the Duke of Sussex and the Duke of York were not wearing uh, any military uniform. They were wearing uh, mourning suits. That's because they are not working members of the royal family, although uh, we understand that the Duke of York is expected to wear military uniform uh, during the vigil of the princes within Westminster Hall uh, to honour his grandmother. Now, um, just before five o'clock, well, it is, it is uh, quarter past four at the moment, we're just coming up to it. At five o'clock, Her Majesty the Queen will be officially lying in state because the first members of the public will be allowed in to uh, view Her Majesty lying in state in person to pay their respects to a monarch who has served this country and the Commonwealth for over 70 years. It's also worth noting, of course, that uh, the Duke of Sussex and the Prince of Wales were stood side by side together in that procession, a show of unity in the House of Windsor today. You may recall uh, during Prince Philip's funeral uh, in April 2021, the Duke of Sussex and the Prince of Wales uh, were separated by their cousin, uh, Peter Phillips. That didn't happen this time. Perhaps a show of unity uh, in, the mo in their moments of gr grief um, for the Windsor family. But Her Majesty the Queen, I think, has three key roles during her time uh, as sovereign. She was head of the Windsor family, yes. She was head of the nation here, but she was also head of state. And I think today's service was a chance for the Windsor family to pass Her Majesty the Queen's coffin from their family to the state. So Her Majesty the Queen's people, her subjects, can pay their last respects to a sovereign that serves them for over, for, that did serve them for 70 years.